everyone. Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I really hope I can tease you into pushing that button. Completed my 38th year coaching football as a defensive coordinator, but over that time I've been a long time, I was been, excuse me, an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, a long time head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about in our 3-4 match quarters, gray four. So this is our base match quarters now, versus what we call Colorado out of our base Okay, versus 11 personnel. So I'm going to explain all the reasons for that in, as part of today's presentation. Okay, so over here on the left, I got what I consider to be the key terms that would relate to how we would defend Colorado. Okay, and then over here, I'll, I'll put it to life for you. Okay, so let me start with, I'm showing it to you versus 11 for this reason. Then you can see the difference in technique between our two outside linebackers. The attached outside linebacker on the tight end and the detached who's out in space, okay? They have the same rules, but the, the way they play, it's a little bit different. That's why I choose to show you versus 11. It's good versus all personnel groups, okay? So over here, the first key term is what we call surface. And for us, the surface is the offensive line. And when there's a tight end in the surface, for the defenders on this side, the tight ends are part of that surface. Okay, so tackle to tackle, and on this side includes the tight end. Okay, the surface shows you run, pass, and direction. So for today's presentation, the offensive line, tackle to tackle, they're going to show pass. They're going to give us the height. Okay, so that's what this signifies. That the surface is shown past, so I don't have to say it you know, umpteen times, surface, right? Because it goes like this. Surface, all the defenders, surface number two to number two, right? Surface to two, surface to two, surface to two. And we say, read number two, he tells you what to do. Read number two tells you what to do. There are different... Um, vernacular terminology, if you will. Some uh, programs call it palms. Right? We call it gray four. We use colors for our coverages. Gray is our quarters. Four is one of our match quarters. Okay? So I'll bring, bring that in when we get into the presentation. And so now, today in Colorado, number two is running a corner route 10 or more yards. Okay, so it's a vertical, all right? So what we have, number three in Colorado, is a deep crosser concept, all right? I know some people call them cross. I mean, there's all the different things, again, crossers. To us, Colorado, we use state names for our two-man route concepts. Colorado is the deep crosser. California, slant slide, that's a much shallower crosses so see what i mean if not subscribers all right so deep crosser concept and number four our detached outside linebacker surface shows pass he expands two's not two um is gone one's not to him he balances then it's running back two or crosser so i'll, I'll show that to you and then number uh, five, the attached, the difference in technique is when they're on a tight end, it starts with knockback. Everything starts with knockback. And then it becomes expand, balance, running back to crossing. Okay? So that's, again, why I cho chose an 11 personnel formation to show you this. So then we get to the secondary, number six, field corner, boundary corner. It's man over 10 or Mott. Number seven, free safety and whip. Man over 10 or Mott. So we'll show you how that works. And then our inside linebackers are last but not least. Two's not to them, <clears throat> not subscribers. So then it becomes running back two or mirror the queue. Running back two or mirror the queue. And depending on what that running back two is, it might involve what we call a key rush. Okay, so that'll all be a part of the presentation. So let me start off over here with... I'm going to draw the Colorado two-man route concept on both sides in red, okay? 
So number one runs the post. He has the deep crosser. And number two runs the corner, right? Deep crosser. So whoever makes their cut at the deeper, that can vary. Okay, so I'm going to say that number two is going to make his corner cut at 12. And number one is going to cut to the post at 14. Okay, again, these can vary. All right, and we acknowledge that right up front. Over here, we'll keep it the same. So that's at 14. That's at 12. Okay, so there's our Colorado or deep crosser concept for you. So now how does this work? I'm going to start off with the outside linebacker, in this case, the attached. Now, everybody's reading the surface, okay? The surface for the rover when he's on a tight end is the tight end himself, okay? So he's going to hear the past that's telling him the rest of the surface is pass blocking, and he'll figure that out because when he knocks back that tight end and everything starts with every single time, He'll hear a pass, and the tight end's not trying to drive block him, down block, right? He's trying to get away from him. So we say, after this, as soon as your hips turn, let him go so you don't get called for holding. Okay? So, I love doing it. <laughs> right? He's gone, starts with expand, eyes go to number one. When he sees that one is not coming to him, that's when he balances, and then it's running back to crossers, okay? So we'll save the running back for a second, and then we'll tie in what he does as a result, okay? Inside linebackers go last. So now let's cover our secondary. So the corner, zit step, walk pedal, butt the boundaries. He sees the surface shows pass. His eyes are on two. So he starts the tempo pedal. Two's in a vertical. Now it becomes he's got to match the tempo, but he has to have the vertical leverage, which means he's got to be on the upfield shoulder. It's now man over 10. So when his guy breaks to the post, we say you got to be in phase, hip to hip, or don't be too far in front because then he can cut butt side on you. So be in phase, hip to hip with the ability to be above the upfield shoulder here, okay, to be above it, all right? Now, the safety, zit, 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 walk pedal. He's at 12 yards. I don't want him creating space. So he eventually picks up his tempo as number two gets closer to him. And then it's the same. He breaks the out. Man over 10. Okay. In phase, hip to hip, with the ability to be above that shoulder. Okay. Point is, there's never, there's no chance because of the spacing, the breaks at different um, levels, yardage, they don't get rubbed off. Okay. If you've got really, really experienced corners and safeties, they can pass it off, but somebody has to make the Colorado call immediately. And so what I strongly suggest is don't let your players do that because one of these guys is going to be wide open. So we just say stick with your man over 10 rules as if it's Virginia, right? All go routes. So that's how we play. Okay. Over here, nothing changes. Okay, pass, surface pass, expand. Nothing from one. Balance, same thing. Running back two, mirror the cue. Walk, butt the boundary, tempo pedal. Mott, man over 10, zit, walk pedal. Pick up the tempo as he gets on you. And then same thing, man over 10. So everything's mirrored. Please remember. These four are reading and reacting to this number two, and these four are reading and reacting to that number two. It's not split coverage. It's the same coverage, but they operate independently. So now let's tie in the running back 
Okay, with our inside and outside linebackers. So the running back two, a mirror the cue, right? Running back two, a crosser, running back two, a crosser. So what we're going to have is we're going to have the running back fit into a protection. Let's say he inserts into the B gap. So now come back to the outside linebacker. Running back two, but he's not in the pattern. So now his head's on a swivel. Crossers are coming from the other side of the formation, right? He doesn't know they're going to run Colorado on both sides. So he's looking for one of these receivers humming across the field. If there's nothing there, then he finds work. If the quarterback scrambles, he reacts to the scramble. Same exact scenario here. Running backs away. He's looking for somebody coming from the opposite side to him. And he, too, will react to a quarterback scramble. Okay, that's it for the outside backers. Now the inside backers. They surface, pass, pivot, two, not to them, pivot back. Running backs to him. But he's blocking. So now that means it's a key rush, which means he adds to the rush by blitzing the open gap. And then make a move on the running. If the back makes no effort to block, you stop and retrace its screen. But we let the scheme tell us, right? I don't want to drop these guys into space and waste them. If it's a six-man protection, then we're going to add to it. So now you got one, two, three. It's a four-man rush. Go for it, baby. Right? The offense has to figure that out post-snap. That's the beauty of the three-four. So now, right, running back two or mirror the cue, running backs away, same thing. He pivots. Two is not to him. Pivots back. Now, a mirror is a spy. But we said we want you to be right across from the quarterback as if the quarterback is looking at you in a mirror. And then it's a spy. So now you got a four-man rush with a spy and the quarterback. And the, the offensive scheme told us that's what we do. So we never waste guys just dropping them in the space. I mean, as it is, I, I think we're kind of wasting the outside backers, but we won't know that till it's post-snap. And you never know if they're going to Colorado here. They're going to drag guys across the field here, so that will keep him busy, right? So I don't feel, quite feel that way with the outside linebackers. I'm not wasting the inside backers. They're in a position now to help us out deliver up – up the field inside pressure, possibly forcing the quarterback out to our outside cage guys who are our defensive ends. Okay? So as I said at the beginning to my subscribers, I thank you, not subscribers. Hope we've teased you enough. To everyone, questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. It's starting to happen. It's helping me. It's helping people on the other side of the screen. I'd also like to thank you for watching MJS Coaching Football and to thank YouTube for providing this platform.